Hey guys, so today you'll be learning from me how to draw a fissure projection. Using the molecule 2 bromo 11 dichloroethane as an example, I will show you what it means. Now, in my hand, you see this molecule as named, and there are two carbons here. Notice that each of these carbon connects to two of the same thing. For this carbon at the front, both are chlorine. At the back carbon, there are two hydrogens that connect it which means to say that in this molecule, there are no chiral center. So, fissure projection you see in textbooks or anywhere, they always give you something like this in terms of a skeleton. So, it looks like a fish, but it's different spelling. It's German scientist fissure. You will notice that it's always like a cross. <clears throat> now, you have to understand what this means. This translates to that diagram in which the vertical bonds at the end goes to the back, away from you. And the horizontal bonds are pointing to you, like this, to you. Whereas the back ones here, that means is to the back, behind. If I use this molecule here, I think you can better see it. These two are the carbon atoms as translate. So you're looking at a carbon. For this picture, you see that if I tilt for you, this bromine is at the back. And this chlorine is at the back. So I try to make it across, it would be Cl here, and by the side, we have a chlorine pointing to the side but towards you. On the left, hydrogen. For the top here, hydrogen. The other side, hydrogen. And for the top, you see, they brought me two back here. So this represents. Same way, okay? But this is the one that's a fissure projection. We do not need to show this zero chemistry because it's understood. Now, if I rotate this carbon bonds here that says P3 hybridized in this manner, just a bit, what do you see now is when the two to the front, you see this hydrogen is not at the back, which means that this molecule could also be drawn in such a manner. The bottom part doesn't move, chlorine, right, at the back, side, chlorine, hydrogen, by the side. On the left, here you have a bromine, top, which is tilted at the back, hydrogen, and hydrogen. If I rotate the bottom part, this way, do you see? What I'm having is another way of drawing it, right here. Again, draw the skeleton first. Carbon, carbon, so H, H, side, we have Br, and then here, bottom part side, we have a chlorine, hidden at the back, chlorine, side, hydrogen. So these molecules are actually the same. It may be more than meets the eye, you can't see it, but if you can think of it like a 3D molecule, you know that they are actually the same molecule, 2-bromo-1-1-dichloroethane. 